you say? This is so beautiful. You know, growing up around this res, I never realized that, you know, we had all these archaeological sites. When I got the job as the, you know, with the tribal archaeology, one day when we were in here surveying, I said, hey, do y'all know there's no homestead in here? And this is how I can, they came up with the idea of doing the reversal. Instead of having the, you know, archaeologists dig up the Indians and stuff, we're going to dig up this old homestead and see what we find here. Well, today we brought um, our sixth grade class from Pimietta, and so the students have had an opportunity to um, go through and do some mapping of some of the bricks that they found here and put some of their math skills to use. They've been learning about coordinate planes, so they got to practice that in real life. We're um, teaching the kids about the types of different materials that are coming out, like glass and faunal bone, um, ceramic and pottery. We learned about soil and, and uh, instead of layers we can call it horizons, like horizon B, horizon C, horizon D. and. Um, we did like a little experiment where we can actually make a cookie, cookies out of it and we it looked like layers of soil. Anytime we can take classroom and put it into real world, it's an ideal situation. And it teaches them that hey, there was always history here. You just had to look for it. I'm glad to see y'all here and interested in uh, what they're doing. Maybe one day, y'all, when, you, when you're older, you can take it a step higher. We need somebody to write our history. So it was really fun, and I want—I probably want to be an um, archaeologist when I grow up.